Hi, my name is Brad Boyd. I'm an attorney with a law firm of Thompson and Nybeck, and our firm serves as counsel to the Minnesota Association of Realtors. Today's legal update is meant to address a situation frequently encountered by real estate agents with regard to the submission of offers uh, to a bank or seller when dealing with short sale property. One of the questions that uh, comes up with some frequency is when you're negotiating a short sale, uh, banks are quite often indicating that they would rather receive the offer directly before it goes to the seller for the seller's review uh, or acceptance or approval on a short sale scenario. And, and we're frequently confronted with the question, is this an appropriate process? Should a listing agent get a, an offer uh, to purchase the property from a buyer and submit it directly to the bank who holds a mortgage on the property before it gets to the seller? And, and the answer, uh, quite simply, there is no, that's an inappropriate process. It's our uh, direct recommendation that anytime an offer is submitted uh, from a buyer to a listing agent, the listing agent has a duty to get that offer to the seller. It's really the seller's offer then to review. The seller can accept it or reject it or counter offer as the, as the seller sees fit. If the seller uh, will not receive sufficient proceeds from the sale to satisfy the outstanding mortgage, that's effectively what we all know to be a, a short sale scenario. And at that point, the seller is going to have to get approval from the bank or banks who hold mortgages against the property or other lien holders. And so ultimately, the bank has to be in, involved in the process in approving or disapproving of the accepted agreement. Uh, but our position on this issue is until there is an accepted agreement for the bank to approve or disapprove, uh, there's really nothing for the bank to look at. So until the buyer gets that offer in front of the seller and the seller accepts the offer contingent on uh, the approval of the bank using hopefully an MAR uh, uh, short sale contingency addendum, then uh, that offer should first go to the seller and then to the bank. It should not go to the bank uh, directly. Let me highlight a couple problems uh, th that are inherent in this issue of submitting an offer directly to the bank and not giving it to the seller. First, you have the risk for both the bank and the seller that the buyer simply walks away. If the buyer's made an offer and it goes directly to the bank without the seller having accepted it, there's no contract. There's no accepted agreement for the buyer now to be bound to. So if the bank takes some time in reviewing that offer and the seller has not accepted it in the meantime, the buyer could simply decide they found a better property or they want to move on with their life and they could withdraw from the transaction entirely. This, the separate risk for the buyer is that the seller's not bound. To the extent the buyer uh, has an offer that goes directly to the bank without the seller accepting it, the bank could simply sit on that offer for some period of time. In the meantime, they could be asking for uh, additional offers to go to them without going to the seller, and then the bank could decide and be in the driver's seat as to what offer uh, they ultimately want to present back to the seller. So the proper process really is for that offer to first get in front of the seller for the seller to accept it if the seller finds it acceptable and then go to the bank for approval. One of the key messages we want uh, real estate agents and realtors to be aware of is that you shouldn't fall into this trap of bypassing the seller and going into the bank simply because the bank requests it. Your client on a, on a listing agreement is the seller. You owe your duties to the seller and that's really whose instruction you should be uh, following. Uh, the best process, as I've outlined today, is that you follow the same process with a uh, short sale contingency that you would any other contingency. If the buyer makes an offer contingent on the inspection of the home, that offer goes to the seller, the seller accepts it, and then that contingency is dealt with uh, as, as uh, time allows. Same thing with a short sale contingency. The offer is made by the buyer, the seller accepts the offer, and then that contingency is addressed with the bank. With that, hopefully today's legal update has, has given you some information on how to best process offers uh, submitted on a short sale transaction, and hopefully today's legal update has, has provided you uh, the, the necessary information to handle those uh, more comfortably and more effectively. Thank you for your time.